I really love my job. I'm here with Chris Miotke from HPE. Thanks for coming on the show. Oh, thank you very much. Is this your car? I wish. I it's a beautiful it was, car. I yeah. wish it was my car too. So uh, you guys are really doing a lot of work as far as connecting cars and different types of devices. What are we looking at here? Well, um, this is one of our customers. This is Jaguar. And uh, like them and many other automotive companies, we're doing a number of things, uh, especially uh, dealing with connected car, some of the newer technologies that people consider called IoT or Internet of Things. So a car, just consider it as a, uh, an extension of the Internet, just like your cell phone or your computer at home. Why, why do I want my car connected? Well, we could take a look at a number of things. Let's say um, if you're looking at warranty issues, we can get real-time data from the vehicle as you're driving it, get that back to the manufacturer, and then give you an alert. Maybe it's a text, maybe it comes through in the, the screen on your uh, computer within the car itself, and says, hey, next week we'd like you to set up an appointment, take care of an issue, or take care of something before it becomes an issue. The benefit to the customer then is it's a little bit more driving that customer satisfaction, rather than just selling a car and you never talk to them again. So keeping that connection with them, keeping that conversation going with the customer, and then for the car company, it helps them to begin looking at um, eliminating major issues. Let's try to get them before it happens. Uh, when most folks, when they're dealing with warranty issues on a car, because we're not connected, because it's a manual process, it takes on an average 90 to 120 days for a car company to identify the issue. We can change that to hours. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And so what about like fleet management? Well, then we take uh, companies even like uh, HPE, where we have uh, within the U.S. and Canada about 5,000 fleet cars. And by connecting to the vehicle real time, we can look at driver behavior. Are we safe drivers when we're driving a car that's being sponsored by the company? Um, Are you a safe driver? Do they know? Uh, I, well, luckily, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're not getting any emails from HR yet? Uh, not yet, not, not yet. yet. Okay. But uh, then we look at where we're driving the car. Uh, maybe I'm not using it enough, according to the rules to have the car to begin with. So uh, last year, we took a look at that and drove quite an efficiency in reducing the cars that we actually put out as a fleet uh, because folks just weren't using them enough. And so they offer a mileage reimbursement instead of having a company car and that, that kind save of thing. Thousands yeah, of dollars. and that can save thousands. And then we look at it, uh, for example, like on vehicle sharing. Uh, you and I are flying in and out of the same airport. You leave me your car to use, and I use it instead of renting a car. It allows the car company maybe then to um, uh, upsell a car, because if we sign up for the program, we get a nicer car. Nice. Company doesn't incur the rental car fee and that sort of thing. We also noticed doing a fleet analysis with uh, one of our customers, Ford, that um, only about 5% of the people were using the CD player. So why put it in the car? That's so funny. it's something to consider at least. So you can find out all that information and again save money and make more uh, better decisions. And make those better decisions, right? And make the information real time uh, very effectively rather than waiting two or three months yeah. for a report to come out which is all age data now. Very cool. Why do you think they won't give us the keys? Uh, probably because <laughs> it's got about a quart of gas in it. It came right off the boat here and it's got three miles on it. Very so. cool. Thanks for joining us on the show, Chris. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ha, ha, ha.